Can I say, I, I've, had to, um, I've had to launch Gravels in Peru, thanks to you lot. But I have to say, the great thing about the Peruvians is that in book selling terms, uh, they're very much an untapped resource. A, the labour's cheap, it's mainly children. And to be honest, the rest are so pissed you could be paying them in chickpeas and they wouldn't notice. And B, tree felling regulations aren't quite as strict as they are here in the UK. Grable's being a 38,000 page novel with an initial print one, well, well exceeding 14 million, the Earth's natural resources do tend to foot the bill. But, the lessons for humanity contained within Grable's far outweighs any irreparable loss of rainforest. And that brings me to my main point tonight, which is an appeal on behalf of the collective intellective. Now for those of you who don't know, the collective intellective is a movement of minds dedicated to widening and renovating the doorways of perception in the Romford Essex area. <laughs> and we travel, well I travel, uh, the festivals of this country persuading Britain's youth to wake up. And I hate festivals by the way, the only one I ever sanctioned was NatFest 1 which uh, was a three-week event held in Chicks Grove Paddock, Hampshire in Oct 86, at which 30,000 pubescent males assembled to read in silence every one of my 99 Killer Nat novels. Um, that silence enforced famously by the Hells Angels. And I got a lot of stick for that, but believe me, they, they hated people rustling pages just as much as I did. <laughs> But the point is, sure, we're all having fun here at Bushfest, whoopee doo. But for every furry nipple ring, for every cotton padded eye patch you buy today, kills a hundred brain cells. And what's more, would in itself buy half a copy of Grable's. Colon, the legend of Grable's. So, wake up, sunshines, buy Grable's, read it, and wake up to future Riverty, Kemasami. Comprende? I'd now like to conclude with a short reading from Grable's, which is dedicated especially to you, the Ignorama. <laughs> hmm, you listen very hard. <laughs> Call me grey balls, quaffed grey balls, using humanity's final matchstick to light mankind's last cheroot, but striking it against his Cuban heels, hewn from the skin of his dead father who'd raised him as a gorilla and a pig and taught him how to smoke. Damn it, Pa, you old hairy bastard, you were right, he thunk. So goddamn right. Not wrong, right. Where will you go now, grey, said a whim away, the cryobulb. Free at last from the light elation chamber, his arse glowing a healthy turquoise. <laughs> balls, said Grey Ball, correcting him about saying Grey without the balls. Grey Balls. He looked up at the moon, lamenting, woman-like, that it was little more than the vast, ancient, castrated testicum of some long-dead warrior giant. Mm -hmm. To the old volcano, Grey Balls exclamated, to cast my hard-dead balls into its dying mouth. Then, friend, then, who knows? Though I'll probably try another dimension for a bit. <laughs> Thus spake Grable's, popping his own thought bubbles, and flied. Concludified. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Full stop. <laughs> Question mark. Italicized. <laughs> Full stop. <laughs> Ellipsis, i.e. dot, dot, dot. Question mark. Question mark in bold. Question mark in bold and italicized. Full stop. Full stop in bold. Full stop in bold and at slightly higher font size. Full stop in bold and at slightly higher font size and underlined. Full stop in bold and at much higher font size, underlined and in gothic font. Page break. Page break. Page break. Full stop. Page break. Question mark. Thank you very much. Good night. Oh dear. Let's kick out for Sorry if I went a bit mental before, but it seemed justifiably mental.